me just say this about the officiating. I know why people uh, such as Greg and others in the media, they, they don't like to spotlight officiating unless it's at the very end of a game and it's a crucial miss. You go back to years ago, I think it was what Rams and saints and the pass interference that everybody saw and it was outrageous that it wasn't called. And I get it because there, there is a concern and I've done plenty of shows where people go down the rabbit hole here, right? There's a concern that once you open up that Pandora's box, then every game is going to be questioned because of officiating. I give most viewers and football fans a little bit more credit than, than some others do. I do think not every call is the same. Not every missed call impacts a game uh, the same. I thought that if we're going to hold players accountable for mistakes, we should hold officials accountable for mistakes and obvious missed calls. And I just cannot, you know, watch that second half and say that the officials did not play a gigantic role in this game. And I'm not telling you it's the only reason why the Patriots lost. Trust me, the Patriots made a ton of mistakes. We can list them. They made a ton of mistakes. But that doesn't mean the officials didn't make mistakes. And when we when we talk about Patriots players making mistakes on penalties like Jonathan Jones, you know, two face masks, and, and, and saying, well, the players didn't make the plays they need to win. Well, guess what? Vikings players made a lot of mistakes that were just straight up missed in this game by the officiating. And they were, to me, they were egregious, obvious calls. The, the, t- the kickoff return for a touchdown. Yes, the Patriots could have done much better on that play. But you know what? If the official does his job, like the Patriots are supposed to do their job, that's a clear holding on, Duggar. It goes back 10 yards. The guy doesn't get a touchdown. There's not a c- gigantic swing in momentum in that football game. Who knows what the Vikings do if that kickoff is actually handled correctly with a holding call. It's the reason why the guy gets to the sideline. So get out, just get out of my face with that. Secondly, the Hunter Henry catch non catch. The NFL has no idea what a catch is. Chris Olave for the saints had an obvious catch on Sunday against the Niners. They missed that is a catch. And if it's, if it's not a touchdown for whatever reason, Oh, he didn't, he didn't survive the ground. I'm sorry. The last time I checked, when you have your foot, your, your hand of the football and your foot and your hand goes over and the ball rolls over across your chest as the ball, as your hand is on the football, I thought that would be a touchdown. Even if it wasn't as Mike Florio wrote, it should have at least been a catch, which would have left you at fourth and goal from the half yard line. That's four points. If the Patriots go for it, which I think they do from the half yard line, you're talking a four point difference. When you, when you see a third down play that's crucial in the game and, you know, one of the Vikings grabs a hold of Mac Jones's face mask and pretty much drags him to the ground and it's completely missed by two guys watching it when it's their job to call the play, to, to call the, the penalty and throw the flag. Like, these are, these are impact plays and calls and missed calls in the second half that went across the board for the Vikings, the, the, the personal foul in the middle of the field when Bryant leads with his shoulder and the receiver is changing levels, that is not a 15-yard penalty. Instead of what it was going to be, I think it was like third and 15 off the top of my head if that play isn't, if that, if that penalty isn't, isn't called. That's, it completely changes series. It completely changed that second half. And I don't know if the Patriots would have won if, if some of those calls were actually made and, and, and the Henry catch was not overturned. I don't know if they win that game, but what I do know is it's a one possession game on the road and four or five gigantic calls in the second half alone went against you. And if people say it's from your New England, I'm sorry. No, it's not. I watched this game with a Lions fan. I was in Virginia. I watched it with a Lions fan, a Steelers fan, and a Buccaneers fan. And all three of them apologized to me after the game and said, Jesus, I wish I was, you know, I'm glad I'm not a Patriots fan because that was brutal. It was one-sided in the second half, and they should be embarrassed. That crew should be embarrassed. The explanation for the Henry, Henry thing made no sense. Bad officiating happens in the NFL. But when you have that many calls in a one possession game, swing the momentum it has to be talked about whether you want to put it as reason one two or three that's your call but it affected that game and i will go down fighting that and i think it's disingenuous for people in the media to not including myself to not act as if some of these calls actually do impact games because guess what they do there's there's this there's this weird thing in the media man like we can't admit when officials screw up uh, and and it affected a, a game because it's all about what the guys do on the field no, like coaches affect the game, players affect the game, refs affect the game, weather affects the game. Those are the four things to me that affect the game. 
and we have to include the officiating. And if we don't, we're doing it wrong. When, when we, when we crap on a team, cause they stunk, they deserve it. Well, let's crap on the crew because they stunk out loud on Thanksgiving. All right. Before we get to three up three down, we talk about the bills. Let's get to uh, our friends at athletic greens. Wait, so you were, so it was cattles, a lions fan, a Steelers yes. fan. Yes. And, and who, who was the other person? Buccaneers fan. So I've got a friend in Virginia, sounds a friend like, that sounds w- like Thanksgiving day. Hell, <laughs> a friend that's uh, a friend that was in the service that is originally from Florida. Well, actually was born in new England, but grew up in Florida is a Florida fan of a lot of teams. And then I got another buddy who's was in the service, like in the air force. And he he's from Michigan. So he's a, a Detroit fan and, and an Ohio state, a Michigan fan, which made him very happy on Saturday. And then my other friend, uh, kind of just, she's from Canada, but she's a Steelers fan for whatever reason. So they all three different fit. And I asked that in the middle of the fourth quarter, I said, look, am I, am I, am I crazy? Like, I don't, I don't want to come across as that guy who's just like, this is ridiculous. This is why they're, and they were like, no, this is, you're, you're not wrong about any of these things that have happened. And I'm like, okay, good. So I, I felt, I felt justified when I had three fans that were not Patriots fans saying, uh, this is awful officiating and it has absolutely impacted the game. So there you go. 